Okay, so since the rusty siding has been installed all around the house, I'm coming back now to do what I consider is waterproofing. What I mean by waterproofing is, is that since this tin came off of someone's house, off of their roof, they took out the screws or nails or screws and nails and they saved it. So each piece of tin has its own set of holes in it that I didn't put in. Of course, I went back and put holes or put screws in where I needed them to go. There were these other holes also that were put in there previously. So what I did is I put screws in all of those holes also because I wanted to make sure that every hole has something in it. And since every hole has something in it, now I'm going back to caulk around everything. So that's my waterproofing. So of course, as you can see here, I'm doing the windows and the two by six for the roof of the porch. And what that means is that once I get this clear caulking on, water won't be able to penetrate it. And of course, water is my enemy out here. That's why I'm closing everything and trying to seal everything as much as possible to keep all of the water out that I can because water is definitely an enemy because it rots wood over a period of time. I'm trying to think a little bit far into the future with this house and maybe others that I build out here in that I want them to last because we've all heard of homes lasting 100, 200 years, still standing, still livable, the whole nine yards. I'd like to have this house be like that and the others that I build out here. So that's why I'm going around to each and every place that I can to fill in. You may not see every individual hole I do, but I'm putting it everywhere, around the windows, around the doors, in each and every screw. And also, if there's a hole that I miss, I'll either come back and put a screw in it or I'll just go ahead and fill it up. But I have plenty of screws on this house, so this siding is not going to come off in the heaviest wind. So that's always a good thing. So I'm going to go around the whole house and make sure that happens. And if I've missed something, I'll come back and I'll do more. But this is the first stage of me waterproofing everything. Since this is the first stage of my waterproofing, what I will do after I go around the whole house is stop at that. And then once I put in the remainder of the rusty siding at the top, underneath my overhang I'll come back once again and I'll look again because there's always something that gets missed or left out so I just want to make sure everything is covered and no water will get in at all so that's what this whole video has been about so I will see you guys on the next video